Friday is a big day in the southern African nation of Angola as voters go to the polls to elect the country's next president. The vote marks only the third election since Angola gained independence from Portugal in 1975 after nearly 30 years of civil war. Now, under the rule of President José Eduardo dos Santos, who has led Angola for nearly 33 years, the country has become Africa's second largest oil producer. But large numbers of Angolans remain unemployed and living in poverty. The 70-year-old president told thousands of supporters at a rally Wednesday in Luanda that the ruling Movement for the Liberation of Angola Party is ready to build on its three decades of leadership. We don't hide from the country's difficulties. We are realists, pragmatic and practical. The MPLA analyzes the problems and shows the way to solve them and explains them to the people. The MPLA is the party of truth, the present and the past. Also on Wednesday, the presidential candidate of the opposition UNITA party, Isaias Samakuva, told his supporters that the people of Angola are calling for a new leader. We saw men and women, the elderly and the young, who traveled large distances on foot to come and listen to us, and all of them demonstrated their eagerness for change. Authorities appear to be ignoring a last-minute request from UNITA to delay the election to correct an alleged lack of transparency in the voting process.